Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, I know what you're thinking after seeing the title of this video. You're wondering why are we not talking about footies with the unlimited 8410 grind, the 99 footies icon, and unlimited icon player picks that we just got in this game. The grind is amazing, and it is. But I want to get you guys ready for the next promo coming to FC24 that actually gives us rewards in FC25. Yes, we're going to be talking about the preseason promo today, and the reason why we're doing that is because I'm going to be going on holiday for the rest of this week. So so you won't hear much from me, but I want to get you guys ready for what is coming this Friday just so that you're prepared and ready to go with what to expect for. It's kind of the continuation of footies, but it's called preseason, and we're going to talk about that a lot today. End of an era players, transferred player SBCs. Maybe that's why we haven't seen as many players. We've been seeing icons and heroes and not as many club players for that reason. We'll talk about it all today, guys, and break it all down. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Before we get into FC25 and preseason content, let's look at the FC24 footies content that we had yesterday on Sunday because it low-key was like the craziest day of footies. Not gonna lie, especially starting with this evolution that they dropped here, or not even this one, both. They dropped two Evos yesterday, guys, but they're the same Evo, but they're different. Yeah, we gotta talk about that because it seems like EA is testing something here. First off, let's look at the Evo itself. The Elite Ascension Evo takes a silver player and basically boosts them to a 99 rated card. You're looking at these stats correctly. That is 99 pace, shooting, and passing on that card there. The first card that can show up for me is a Brazilian striker from the MLS, Klaus. He goes to 99 pace, shooting, and physical with finesse plus, technical plus, aerial plus, quick step, and even some other, uh, Playstyle regulars like Incisive and Pinged Pass, which is not bad. This Evo is honestly pretty crazy. You can get a crazy endgame card that you'd never be able to make otherwise, making a silver into a 99. That in itself is just flat out cool. Some of these cards that you see here on Footbin are just crazy. You can even make a Fellaini with these different statistics. Yeah, sure, his pace goes to 72 from 34, which is still really low, but that's even a pretty crazy card. This Onachu card looks nuts with 98 pace, 96 shooting. I'm probably going to do the Sibachu from the United States. He goes to 99 pace and 97 dribbling with 5-star, five 5-star. Five that's the boost for all these cards as well. Five star, five star for all of them. That is pretty crazy. The upgrade is amazing. Love it. Creates an unused, like a card that was unusable now becomes super meta, right? That's amazing. We love it. Now, the difference between the two evolutions, Elite Ascension 2 and Elite Ascension, you might notice that one of them is 500,000 coins. And maybe some of you thought, I'm not doing this Silver Evo because it costs 500K. Well, there's two there's a paid version and a free version. Kind of sounds like the paid season pass in FC25 that we're hearing about versus the free one, right? You get the same reward in the end, but how you get there is different. For the paid Elite Ascension Evo, it only takes eight games of squad battles only to get this evolution done. You'll get there faster, quicker, get your 99 rated card and be able to use it in game fully upgraded faster if you spend 500,000 coins. If you go the free route, this is a free Evo for the Elite Ascension, you have to play eight games, seven of which would be in division rivals or foot champs with your Evo card on the way to getting it upgraded, right? So it's a trade-off of time versus coins. And that's, we already see a lot of that in this game. Let's be completely honest. We do. Whether you spend the money on store packs or whether you don't and you run an RTG, you go untradeable, that's kind of the difference there as well, right? But it really does seem to kind of draw a comparison to what we know as the paid season pass coming in FC25, and then obviously the free one that'll be there alongside with it. So that's really interesting. I think the Evo is amazing because who doesn't want to take a bronze card to a, or a silver card, I mean, to a 99 rated? That just sounds fun. But I think that EA is testing a little bit with that. Maybe they're going to look in their analytics and see how many people went the paid route for that one. Am I going to complete that Evo? for the paid version? Probably not. I know I do have a lot of coins, but I'd rather use them on other things. I will maybe do the um, play version, the grind it out one, because that is a pretty nuts card, and that would go into my USA team. That's the Vacha card would. So I think that's really interesting. It's a W Evo. It's just really interesting to see how EA's kind of splitting it up between the paid and the free version. Now, let's go to SBCs where we had, again, the early release content. Like, what is up with EA now? Two days in a row with the 93 plus icon pick. And then, of course, two days ago with the 84 and the 85 times 10s, we have like 9 a.m. content. It's 9 a.m. UK, 4 a.m. Eastern, which is my time zone, is when SBCs have been dropping, at least in some part, for these upgrade packs. Because yesterday we had the 93 plus pick dropped at 4 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. UK, and it's unlimited repeatable, which is awesome. 
but it's a surprise that it was dropped at that time. Actually, to be in fact, uh, to be fair, the 8510 also refreshes now at that same time, at that uh, 4 a.m., 9 a.m. time frame. Ah, oh, they just fixed it. Look, 21 hours. That would be where I'm recording right now. I think they fixed it, guys, because that is now saying it's going to refresh at 6 p.m. content time. So that is, in fact, not going to happen today early. So I just noticed that. Uh, but that was really interesting that those SBCs were dropping early. Now, back to this icon player pick. It's unlimited repeatable. This is the chase specifically for Hullet, Zidane, Cruyff, Dino, and R9. Those are the same icons that we know we're all chasing right now at the moment, but this gives you an elite icon pick, 93 plus, with a chance to do that every single time. It's a 91 and an 89 rated squad with a team in the season. So it's a bit of a grind, but of course, with the 8410 being unlimited, you can just rip those, rip those, rip those, and rinse into these 93 plus player picks and get as close as you possibly can to an unlimited at 93 plus with the chance at getting all those top tier icon pulls so there's really not a whole lot to say here except we have an unlimited grind for icons an unlimited grind for the other footies cards ptgs make your marks and team of the tournament players which is awesome and then of course the unlimited 84 times 10 which just feeds right into all those so that is an amazing grind you don't need me to tell you that you guys know that it's there you're crafting these packs like crazy every day anyway Let's go, right? Now, what really was cool yesterday was the Icon SBC that we had. No great to the game stuff here. We're going straight to the top. 99 rated Philip Lom. Thank you, EA. This is an Icon SBC, man. This is what we're talking about. What a card for Philip Lom. Great play style pluses. Great play styles. He can play left back, right back, and center defensive mid, which is awesome for squad building. Look at those stats. 99 defending, 99 passing. This looks super duper duper cracked. And I remember using a LOM card. I think I used the team of the year LOM a little bit earlier this year. And even in FIFA's prior, he's always really OP and meta. Kind of like a Conte shorter type player with really good interceptions. I love that he can play CDM or on the right back or left back positions. That intercept plus for him is going to be awesome. He's got 99 interceptions, 99 defensive awareness, stand tackle, slide tackle, balance, reactions, composure, curve. We could go list all the 99 stats would take forever, but uh, this looks like a really insane card in game. And that's the type of footies icon and the icon SBCs that we have right now that we want to continue to see. That's easy work as well for 11 squads, even with the lowest rated being a 91. I mean, you have a couple of 91s in here before you get to the 92s and the 93s and 4s. So actually, this one's uh, mistaken. It says a 93 rated. No. No, it's not mistaken. Yeah, there's a 91 rated logo there, but it says 93 squad. So I think that's, you know, that'll probably change to be a 93 rated logo, but it's not that difficult to get done. It's only 900,000 coins, which only 900K. Would he be this much on the market? Maybe not. He might be a little bit less than this, but I feel like it's pretty good value for a really, really good card. And of course, as with everything, very easy to grind. So I love that card. That's a phenomenal SBC from EA. Love that. Now, in terms of things that is impacting a little bit, guess what? Remember when bronze rares were selling? Well, they're selling again because everybody wants to do that Philip Lam card. I saw bronze rares over a thousand coins. It looks like they're still insta selling at a thousand. Like I searched at a thousand and all these cards are selling instantly. So uh, get your bronze rares out of the club if you want to. This might be the last time to do that if you still have some left over. And then also in terms of fodder, team of the season cards did go up in price yesterday. I think they're, yeah, insta selling at right around 25,000 coins so those are up a couple thousand coins a card as well because of lam and the icon player pick being unlimited so another good opportunity there if you bought any of those yesterday kind of like we halfway mentioned in the low 20s you can now sell those and maybe even lazy sell them sell them and list them for like 27 to 29,000 30,000 coins and get some sales here or there so those are up a little bit because people are doing all the unlimited sbcs at the moment which require team of the seasons now let's get to the main point content yesterday was good and great but let's get to what we're here for let's talk about what is coming this friday so enjoy the grind this week right all the upgrade packs the player picks that are going to come out i'm sure there's going to be more icon player species as well that we're looking forward to but i want to set the stage for friday since i won't be here this week now let's talk about preseason guys because if you've played this game long enough you know if you played last year year before that this is becoming kind of the second staple end game promo we have footies then we have preseason and preseason is all about getting us ready for the next year's game that's the whole point like the model the promo is probably going to be play fc24 to get packs and stuff in fc25 that's what it's all about now we're not talking about getting 84 tens 
NFC 25, our level of meta packs is going to go from like crazy high here down to a really low level because we're going to get these rewards near the beginning and almost near the very start of FC 25. So these packs aren't going to say they're not going to seem that good. Like some people are going to look at these packs that we had last year and be like, nah, Nate, a three players pack a hero boost, a two rare gold pack, an 83.5 and 84.3. That's pretty good. But some of these other ones would be like, ah, Nate, these are not worth playing for it. Let me be honest. It depends on a couple things, but they're worth going for, man. They really are because you never know in the first couple weeks of the game. Um, hopefully they release the rewards really early, like the first week or two of the game. If they give us the rewards that early, these packs could change everything for you. You could pack like a Premier League, you know, even an 84 rated Premier League midfielder or right back or left back could give you an insane card that goes straight in your team. Like imagine gold Kyle Walker in the first two weeks. That was like 70,000 coins last year or something crazy. So that would be a really, really awesome pull. It's worth testing out these packs. And at least if it doesn't take that much of a grind doing them to get them done. Now, that is the point of the promo. Like we mentioned, it's all about the carryover rewards. And they split it up in last year's way of doing it. It was a three-week promo, kind of like how footies is. They have different batches of re-release cards. They have different SBCs. And they have different objectives each week that give us packs that we will have to or will get to take over to FC25. Now, if you're changing from like, you know, PC to Xbox or PlayStation, you don't get to carry those rewards over. It's for the same account that you claim them on this year. You'll take them to that same account next year with the game so you see last year we had the three rare gold players packs but last year one thing that they did step up their game with was some of these packs we had an 82 times 10 that was crazy we got an 82 times 10 last year for just playing a few games in fc or in fifa 23 to carry into fc 24 that was a really nuts pack to have early on. Same thing with the 84-3 and the 83 times 5. That was great fodder for some of the first SBCs that we had, but also giving you a chance at packing some pretty meta players. So it is worth doing these guys. I'm going to be completely honest. It'll seem like a bit much. It'll seem kind of annoying, but you might be really happy if you're playing FC25 to see these rewards come through. Now, the key is when are they going to be released? Last year, it was kind of unfortunate. Since they gave us better packs, they delayed the rewards because I'm pretty sure in years past, we got these preseason rewards like on the full day of the full release or a couple days after that, right? Well, this last year, they gave it to us on October 12th, which would be literally two, maybe almost three weeks after we're getting onto the game, especially if you have early access, it's like three weeks. So by then, really, it's these three packs that mean a lot to you. The gold rare packs, they don't mean that much. Now, I like these packs. I think if they're going to give us this level of packs again, it's probably going to be early to mid-October before we get these rewards. But even then, if it's this level of pack, that would be worth playing some FC24 for to get some FC25 rewards because you never know, right? And that's kind of part of the fun with it. And that's kind of part of the hype with it. So that's the main point of the promo. Now, it doesn't just end there. There's going to be still the SBCs releasing in this game. There's going to be stuff that gets re-released in packs. We've had a really good re-release. The past two weeks of this re-release team three of footies, has been great. That continues. As you see here on last year's preseason website, you can see the best of and footies re-release. The thing is with the re-releases, um, they're probably going to start including footies cards in them. So they'll get footies cards back into packs. I remember Cristiano Ronaldo 99 being in one of the footies re-releases from last year. But again, as I mentioned in a couple of the last videos, don't expect the re-releases to be as good as this week. Guys, honestly, enjoy the 8410 grind this week. Next week, it's not going to be as good because EA is probably going to make the batch a lot worse. Remember the, the first batch of footies? It started kind of low. We built up to this batch where we are now. It's probably going to be the same thing. That was Gerard. I, wanted, I didn't know if that was Beckham for a second, but we'll take it. Um, that's kind of how they work it with preseason as well. It'll seem like a step down from where we are right now to where we will be on Friday. So enjoy this week of grind 100%, uh, but it'll ramp up as we go. But there should be footies cards in packs as a part of the re-releases for sure. Now, SBCs, as we mentioned, transfer cards were a big part of the preseason promo last year. Remember the 99 rated Harry Kane, the 99 rated Jude Bellingham SBC that came out. Now this came out in September. September, September 2nd. So this wasn't right away at the start of preseason, but if you think about a 99 Jude Bellingham, and of course we had a 97 last year, he had a tots, right? 
So they gave him a 99 later on. You think about this year, Mbappe. There's only one man fit for this 99 rated SBC. It would be Mbappe. He already has a 98, but EA still just do it. Give him the 99 Real Madrid SBC so that everybody can use him. Now, if they're going to do that, guys, it's probably not going to be until we get into September, like the first or second week of September. I'll be completely honest. I would be surprised if it's before September 5th. Let's say that date, right? But that's a obviously the first player you think of for a big transfer now last year there was plenty right we had almost all of these cards that you see in here that are like 95 plus were at the end game time frame 96 aronson was end game arnautovic openda daily blend Tonali, <laughs> Jordi Alba, Kim Min Jae, all of those were transfer cards for hype transfers as they were moving into new clubs during the summer transfer window last year. There's plenty of hype cards that EA could release this year as well. The one thing I would say is though, I really hope they give us a different card design. Can we have something other than those, you know, premium basic looking SBC designs for this year with the um, preseason promo? If there was another like their own card design for this, that would be really cool. We would love that. I'm not expecting it. But it'd be really, really nice if there was. But I would expect SBCs, objectives, probably not in packs, but a lot of stuff related to those transfer cars. Now, also, we could see end of an era content. We didn't have this as much, actually, um, last year in uh, at FIFA 23 heading into FC 24. But we did have one end of an era, and it was Kevin Prince Boateng. I feel like this year there's still multiple players who they haven't given end of an eras to, who maybe are retiring or moving on from a club that they were at for a long time. I think there's some end of an eras that could be due uh, in FC 24 in the end game here as well. So I hope we see a part of that in this preseason promo too. And again, really guys, it's kind of a continuation of footies, as we're mentioning, right? We had a lot of icon and hero SBCs during footies. We're going to have a lot more player SBCs during preseason with the transfers, but there's still going to be a best of impacts. The cards impact should still be good. Um, you know, it honestly might be an opportunity to watch team of the season cards. If Todd's cards fall at all this next week, getting them as close to like 12,000 coins minimum price as you can could be a really good investment because there might not be as many of them in packs when we get the new re-release this Friday. So, oh, too many dupes for me there, man. That's unfortunate. We're going to have to craft. But, you know, that's something to kind of think through if you really care about Team of the Seasons or if you're low on them and you need some for doing the SBC grind. But this week is the big week in terms of the best grind possible. I think it's going to step down next week, so enjoy it again uh, while it lasts. Uh, but it'll seem sort of like footies, this preseason promo grind. Um, it'll probably give us maybe friendly modes or different other objectives to play. Play. Like I mentioned for the preseason stuff, a lot of it should be based during objectives. And also, we're going to get a new season this week as well. I'll be really interested to see what it's called. I bet it's going to be called preseason or like headed to FC 25 or something like that will be the name of the season. And I'm really curious to see if EA put some of the FC 25 objectives, whether it's players or, you know, packs that we can obtain um, through objectives in the season. I'd be really curious to see what they do with that. But this is probably going to be season nine, the last season of FC 24. So again, enjoy the grinding craft this week because it's probably not going to get better. And yeah, guys, I mean, it's going to be a good week still to hit the 84 tens. I know I'm picking a bad week in terms of that grind to go away, but um, it's just kind of a time for me to be away this week to refresh, reset, and to get ready for FC 25. I appreciate uh, all of you guys watching the videos, like you watching the videos daily and, and tuning in and, and doing this with me is uh, allowing me to take time off like this and to reset, to be refreshed so that I, we can uh, come in full steam ahead before FC 25 and be uh, ready to go uh, because it's going to take breaks in any sort of job in life. And uh, yeah, that's my inspirational talk from TFA. But that's going to be the end of the video today, guys. I will see you probably in another video at the end of the week. So sorry to mess up your either morning or nightly routine. I know everything around here is so daily and that's part of the fun with the updates in this game. And uh, you guys get to watch the videos every day that we put them out. But uh, we'll have to take a break from that this week. So sorry to interrupt those normal patterns. But we will be back to resume them next week. And we'll probably start talking a lot more about FC25 content as well with the ratings and stuff. I know we're not quite to that time of the year. Usually once we get really close to September, we're talking FC25 ratings. But there should be more news and deep dives and information about the game coming out. Like I said, ratings, other leaks, 
icons. They've talked about the heroes that are coming, but they haven't talked about the icons that are coming to FC 25 yet. So more of that, more deep dives from EA themselves. And uh, we will be there for that. But that's going to be the last video for me on footies. It's crazy to say that. Next video will be on the preseason promo when we are back from holiday. So have a great week, guys. Enjoy the grinds. Keep sending me tweets. I'll be slightly active on social media. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Um, maybe tweet a picture here or there. But I'll see some of the stuff that you guys send me. So have a great week. And I will see you guys very soon. If you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And, of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the Count. Catch you guys later this week. Have a good one. Peace out.